Hi, I'm back again today and what I'm going to make today is chicken cacciatore. A lot of my subscribers have asked me to do it. I'm going to show you. It's a very simple recipe and I'm going to show you step by step but I'm going to tell you about my ingredients. Peppers, I usually buy peppers and do them myself but I took the lazy way out today. I bought frozen peppers and frozen onions tomatoes, oregano, white wine, and salt and pepper. The first thing to do is to fry the chicken. Now, I don't fry it all the way. Just fry it partially, get a nice color on it, then pull it out, pull all your other ingredients in, and then put the chicken back in, and it'll absorb everything and cook. And then you could put it over polenta, which is what we're going to do today, or you can use mashed potatoes, rice, pasta, anything you like. It's a very simple recipe and very tasty. Okay, I already put the oil in the pan. Um, I would say about a good quarter of a cup because you're going to be frying a lot of chicken. Okay, I use olive oil. If you want to use canola oil, vegetable oil, I'm sure it's just as good. And now skin side down. Okay, you should hear that sizzle. And try to put the dark meat in because that takes longer to cook. I think I bought too much chicken, but we'll manage to eat it. Jonas, can you take this from me, please? Thank you. And now I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I always use kosher salt. I find it adheres better to the food. And it has a very nice flavor. And some pepper. Okay, and try not to lift it up off the pan right away because it has a tendency to stick. Let it cook for a little bit. My gas is a little high, I'm going to lower it to medium, okay? I know a lot of my subscribers have asked me to bake. And I do not bake, but I have my daughter-in-law and granddaughter that bake. So if you want some baking recipes, tell me on my list and I'll give it to them. Here's my grandson who's very tiny. He's only 5'9", five, 5'10", five, so I don't like when he's above me, so I put him on his knees. <laughs> but he's going to help me. He's helped me in every video I've ever done. And I want him now to... These are San Marzano tomatoes. They're basically the only ones I use. They're the best. Hi. Okay, my grandson's here, and he's going to uh, smash up my tomatoes. They're San Marzano. They're very costly, but they're the best tomatoes you can buy. And they always come, come in plum version. So I'm having my grandson just mash them a little. They don't have to be perfect. Just mashed a little, and we're going to add them to the chicken once the chicken has a little brown on it. Okay, I just want to show you. I am not cooking this thoroughly. I'm just browning it just a little bit because this is going to go in the sauce. So as you can see... It's not cooked at all, you know, just basically I'm just getting a color on it. You can make yours stay longer if you like. That's not a problem. But I just brown it a little bit. 
I think another five minutes and I should be okay to get this out. And then I'll show you how we add the other ingredients to make it cacciatore, okay? And what that was, to give you a little history, the reason this they call it that, this was a hunter's, hunter's way of eating. Cacciatore means hunter. And they would put everything together and cook it all in one pot. So that's why it's called cacciatore. browning this I would say about 20 minutes it should even stay longer if you can but this is fine you know if you want to make it really crispy and brown you could do it a little longer but I'm going to take it out now for time and put it in the bowl I was just told by my daughter, because they're all reading on the word cacciatore, that they used, years ago, the hunters used more dark meat. But I prefer white meat. I buy the dark for my children. They like the dark. I prefer the white meat. And I'm going to start to add the other ingredients. Now, normally, I cut up my vegetables myself. But today I wasn't up to it. So I bought frozen onions and peppers which come in a bag. They're very good. Okay, I'm going to add my onions. Excuse me. Too bad they don't have smell of it, and that smells so good. My peppers. And the ratio is not important. If you like less, use less. If you like more, put more. This is not something where you're precise, like baking. Okay. How pretty that looks. Now the only dry spice I use for this recipe is a little oregano. But if you want to use parsley, basil, whatever you like, I just use oregano. And just go around the pan. You don't need that much. Okay? And now we're going to add, I would say about a cup of white wine. And what the wine does makes you scrape the little bits on the bottom. That's where all your flavor is. Okay. And now we're going to put in our tomatoes. Jonas, can you help Grandma, honey? And now I've told you this trick before. If you don't want tomatoes to splatter, put a wooden spoon in the in the bowl. The whole thing, honey. Thank you. Look at the color on those. Oh my God. That is beautiful. Look at that color. That's the San Marsano. That's they always have that beautiful red color. Okay. And now, I'm going to slide the chicken back in, and you let it cook, I would say for a good 35-40 minutes, and it should be done. But always check the pieces, especially the dark. That's very important. Okay? Hopefully I can fit it all in. Okay. 
like I said, we're gonna we're gonna put polenta. We're gonna cook polenta in this. But if you want to put mashed potatoes, rice, pasta, everything is good with this. I'm going to cover it. Boy, I barely fit all this. Okay. And there's a little bit of juice from the chicken which I'm going to add. Okay? And that's your recipe. I've taken all my chicken out. It's cooked. But I like my sauce much more reduced than what it is now. As you can see, it's very liquidy. Now, if you want to serve it like this, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But I like to have it much more reduced. So what I did, took the chicken out, put the gas on high, and periodically I'm going to look at it. When it gets to the consistency I like, then I'm going to serve it. And you, could, like I said, you could serve it with rice, pasta, uh, polenta, which is what we're having. And you're going to enjoy it. It's very flavorful. Okay, I hope you have enjoy it. And please watch my videos. And please tell your friends and subscribe.